Welcome to I Question PH. Our today's question is How to find equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value but have different numerators and denominators. There are four ways of finding equivalent fractions. First is by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number. Example, let's find the equivalent fractions of one-third. Let us multiply its numerator and denominator by two. So numerator one times two is two. Denominator three times two is Six. So the answer is two six. Therefore, one third and two six are equivalent fractions. Let us multiply again one third by another number. Let us try three. Numerator 1 times 3 is 3. Denominator 3 times 3 is 9. So the result is 3 ninths. Therefore, 3 ninths is also the equivalent fraction of 1 Third. So it means the fractions one third, two six, and three ninths are equivalent fractions. The second way is dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the same non zero number. Example, let us divide the fraction 10 twelfths by 2. Now, numerator 10 divided by 2 is 5. Next, denominator 12 divided by 2 is 6. It means the final answer is 5 sixths. Therefore, 5 sixths and 10 twelfths are equivalent fractions. Let us now proceed to the third way to find if fractions are equal use the cross product method example let us find out if one half and five tenths are equivalent fractions let us start by multiplying the numerator one and the denominator ten one times ten is ten Next, let's multiply the numerator 5 and the denominator 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So the product of this method are both 10. Therefore, we can say that 1 half and 5 tenths are equivalent fractions How about this example? One third and two fifths Let us start the method 
numerator 1 times denominator 5 is 5. Then numerator 2 times denominator 3 is 6. So this gives the answers of 5 and 6. Therefore, one third and two fifths are not equivalent fractions. And the last way is to find a missing term in a fraction, find the cross product of the first pair of terms and divide by other given term. Let us study this example. In this problem, the denominator of the second fraction is missing. So let's start finding it by using the cross product method again. Let's start by multiplying the denominator 5 by the numerator 4. Then, divide by the other given term, which is 2. So, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. It means the missing term here is 10. Therefore, two-fifths and four-tenths are equivalent fractions. And that was how we find equivalent fractions. Again, equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value but have different numerators and denominators. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.